Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and I just wanted to update you real quick with what's going on with the Grow With Me series. As you remember some of you have seen that the spinach didn't germinate and we had the nice lettuce, arugula and kale. We'll talk about that in a few days, in about two or three days. But I just wanted to mention the spin our spinach replacement. I replaced it with nice three jars of Swiss chard and remember as I mentioned they each have a different color if you see right here look at this beautiful beautiful pink and purple down there and a little yellow green right next to it same thing here we got a nice red and yellow one and the red one came up the yellow one's about to come up right there as it's pushing the cocoa core out of its way and on this side, this one was actually connected, which is very common with Swiss chard. A lot of times there will be two seeds in one. I'm sorry, two sprouts in one seed. And that's doing really well. And uh, that's the first time I've ever seen that, actually. And so I just wanted to show you what's going on. And some of you might be wondering what's basically this white stuff that's what that is is just regular it's just mold that came on basically on the plant on the jar and that happens sometimes with when you're growing indoors it's basically completely harmless to you as well as your plants and it'll completely go away once the jars once the coca core i mean dries up as you see back there all those jars are nice and dry and we i don't have that problem at all and this one's actually beginning to dry out and as you see it's going away completely so mold needs moisture to continue to grow and develop so there's actually mold all over the place around you all around and even you're even breathing it it's landing on you touching you so it's landing all over the place and when it finds a nice moist area that it likes it lands there and it begins to spread and grow which is basically what's going on right here. But as I mentioned, completely harmless to your plants as well as to you. So just keep that in mind in case you see, ever see that. Let me zoom you in real close so you see what it looks like. Now, if it gets all fuzzy and white at that point, that's probably harmful to your plant. You don't want to do that. This is like the very early stage of it and will completely go away very shortly and I just wanted to update you with what's going on with the replacements of our grow with me series and as I mentioned we'll come back in about two days when it's our weekly update and we'll be replacing our nutrients thanks for watching